in T1 and T2 with a variable position vector. But if you resolve these, you're still missing 0 0.3 degrees. The object changed direction on its own. Thank you, Carl. It's a thrilling idea. Thrilling. I will just point out that these deviances all reside within the range of optical aberration. Thank you, Nelson. I did think of that. And if you look, you will see we identified shifts here and here and adjustments in speed and direction. No celestial object changes course like that on its own. Never. Next to be telling us it's piloted by intelligent life. I believe that. Yes. What if I'm right? Hmm? We're running out of time on this planet. Colonization is not happening fast enough. If we can make contact with them, what if they have the ability to save all of us? Right, well, you've given us a lot to consider. And look at it this way. If your theories don't pan out, you can always write a book. Professor?